Good evening, everyone. Today we delve into the fascinating geological histories of the terrestrial worlds in our solar system, focusing specifically on the Moon and Mercury. Our goal is to understand why these bodies are the way that they are today, starting with the simplest of them. As we explore the Moon and Mercury, it's crucial to recognize that their geological histories are largely shaped by their small sizes. This characteristic led to rapid cooling and the lack of significant ongoing geological activity. So, both the Moon and Mercury lost most of their internal heat early on, seizing major volcanic and tectonic activities that are common in larger bodies like Earth. Their small sizes also mean weak gravity, which is insufficient to retain significant atmospheres. The absence of thick atmospheres has resulted in minimal erosion and lack of gases needed to replenish any atmosphere lost over time. With no significant geological renewal, the surfaces of both the Moon and Mercury have remained unchanged for billions of years. Except for the scars left by numerous impacts from celestial debris. Of course it wasn't always that way. At first it was this giant ball of heat and energy. This initial heat facilitated some early volcanic activities. In conclusion, understanding the geological past of the Moon and Mercury provides us with profound insights into the dynamics that shaped these celestial neighbors. Although they now seem quiet and unchanging, their current states offer a glimpse into the active processes of their early histories.